The name of each field type in TANA is a clue to the type of data that you enter into that field. In this case, it might not be as immediately clear as the other names, but an instance field does give away what you include as part of the data here. An instance field includes instances of a super tag that's been created. In my example here, I have a funny people field and inside the options are people, items that have been given a person tag. As you can see here, person. What about this auto initialization to ancestor with super tag? What does that mean? Let me show you. So I have a video tag and inside that, I'm going to use a note tag. I want a new cat. That's a note that I'm taking in the context of this video. For each note, there's a context field. And this context field, if we click into there, has that auto initialization option toggled on. And so now, anytime I take a note, if it's underneath to any degree of relation, if it's underneath any kind of video, then it's automatically included in this context field. Actually, maybe you've noticed, I don't have video here for the tag. I have resource. That, that doesn't make sense, Nick. Actually, it does because in my schema, resource is the parent super tag of a bunch of other super tags from tools to content, various forms of media, but they all share certain characteristics. And so I put this resource tag here. So anytime I record notes on a video, on a podcast, about some kind of website, anything, it provides this context field that will be automatically filled if I'm in some sort of context. If you have a question about this video or you'd like to request a future video, drop a comment below. This video is part of a playlist called Tana Bits. So check out the other videos there and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates on any future content. Let me say context again. Context.